Tracing Changes Through a Thousand Years by Daddy Steady Study, which is created for your better future. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I have an exciting video over here for you. So let's proceed. But, but there's an important thing for you to do that is, like, share, and subscribe to Daddy Steady Study for more and for your better future. New Social and Political Groups The study of the thousand years between 700 and 1750 is a huge challenge to historians as scale and variety of developments that occurred in this period. And also, the new technologies appeared. The new technologies like Persian wheel in irrigation, the spinning wheel in weaving, and firearms in combat emerged in this period along with the food and beverages such as potatoes, chili, tea, corn, and coffee. As a result, this was a period of economic, political, social, and cultural changes. This was also a period of great mobility. Groups of people traveled long distances in search of opportunity as the subcontinent had immense wealth. One of the groups became popular in this period and those were the Rajputs. Extreme valor and great sense of loyalty were the qualities attributed to the Rajputs. Other groups such as the Maratha, Sikhs, Ahoms, Chats and the Kayastas also tried to become politically important. The Habitat in this period, there was a gradual clearing of forests and the extension of agriculture. Changes in their habitat forced the forest dwellers to migrate. Others started tiding the land and became peasants. So, let's learn more about the peasants in this period. These new peasant groups gradually began to be influenced by regional markets, chieftains, priests, monasteries, and temples. They became part of large complex societies and were required to pay taxes and offer goods and services to local lords. As societies became more differentiated, people were grouped into jatis or subcastes and ranked on the basis of their backgrounds and occupation. Jatis Jatis frame their own rules and regulations to manage the conduct of their members. These regulations were enforced by an assembly of elders described in some areas as the Jati Panchayat. But Jatis were also required to follow the rules of their villages. Several villages were governed by a chieftain. Together, there were only one small unit of a state. So that's all for today guys and thank you so much for watching this video and also like, share and subscribe to Ready Steady Study for more and for your better future. This is Manasvi signing off.